Welcome to example program. In this video, we will see how we can write a C program to reverse a number. When we talk about writing a program to reverse a number, what we can do is we can display the number in reverse order. Another option is we can uh, generate the reverse number and we can store it in a variable so that we can uh, perform any other calculations if we want to. Uh, let's say we have the number one, two, three. And what we want to do is we want to reverse it. So we want to make it three, two, one. And as I said before, we have two options. One is we can uh, separate each digits of this number one, two, three, and we can display them separately like three, two, one, and uh, that's it. Another option is we can generate this number three to one and we can store it in a variable, for example, X or Y or something, and uh, we can perform some calculations on that. So in this video, we will see both of these options. Now let's assume that the number that we have to reverse is one, two, and three. So what we do in our program is first, we try to separate each digit from this number. And this number one, two, three is in a decimal number system. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the number and we will divide it by 10. So we check for the remainder and the quotient value. So here it will be 10 12s of 120 and we get three as the reminder. So now if you look at this, then the number is one, two and three and the reminder is three here. So it is the last digit of the number and this 12 that we have, which is the quotient is actually the remaining digits of this number. And if we divide this quotient again by 10 and then we get two, it is another digit of this number one, two, three. And this time we get the quotient as one in here. And if we divide this one by 10 again, this time we get the reminder as one. So this is the first digit of this number. So by dividing the number and the quotient that we get, we can separate the each digits of the number. So here I have already written some code. Uh, we are using the system namespace. I have created a namespace called as reverse. And then we have this class program. And inside this, we have the static void main method. So in this program, now let us declare the variables that we are going to use. The first variable that we need is for storing the number which we are going to reverse. So I'm going to call this variable as number and I'm going to initialize this with a value of one, two, three. Now in this program, I'm not going to take the input from the user. I want you to make that modification. And uh, after making the modification, you guys can post the code in the comment section. Now the next variable that we need in here is for storing the reminder value that we are going to calculate. I'm going to call it as reminder. And another variable that we need is for storing the reverse number that we are going to calculate. So I'm going to call it as rev number and I will initialize this with a value of zero. The next thing that we do is we will separate the each digits of the number uh, which is present in this number variable. So what we do, we will divide it by 10 and we will check out the reminder value. So we will perform number modulus 10, which will divide the value stored in the number variable by 10 and it will return us the reminder value and we will store that in the reminder variable. And after that, once we get the reminder value, the other digits of that number will be available in the quotient. So what we're going to do is we're going to perform number divided by 10. So with this first operation, number modulus 10, we are getting the reminder value, which will be a particular digit. And after that, with this number divided by 10, we get the quotient value, which will contain the remaining digits. And what we do is we will store that back in this number variable. So here, if we start to repeat this process, then we will separate the each digits of the number present in the number variable. So we need to run this in a loop. So I'm going to create a loop and let's call and let's use a while loop. And the condition here will be we want to run this for loop until this number variable contains a value which is greater than zero. If this number variable contains a value greater than zero, then it will divide the number by 10. It will get us the reminder value which will contain the last digit then it will uh, get the quotient value 
and again uh, when the loop goes for the next iteration at that time that quotient file will be present in the number variable so again it will separate one digit then again it will go to the next iteration and it will separate another digit so similarly this loop that we have written in here it will separate each digits of the number now if i print out the value of this reminder variable then we get the each digits of this number in reverse order just to demonstrate that i'm going to use the console dot right line method or write method and here i just want to format this string so we will use a placeholder and then i'm going to use a minus symbol here just to differentiate the number and it will be the reminder value that we want to print in here okay now after saving this program if i run this you guys can see here 3 minus 2 minus 1 minus so if i close it and if i remove this minus symbol that i have inserted purposefully then if i save this program and run it again then you guys can see it looks like the reverse of this number that we have specified which is 1 to 3 here we get 3 to 1 in the screen so we are displaying the each digits of the number in such a way that it looks like we have reversed the number but here in this program what i want to do is i want to calculate the reverse number i want to generate the reverse number and i want to store it in a variable if you multiply and uh, add the reminder values and if we can construct a logic then we can generate the reverse number and that is nothing but we will generate the reverse number in this review number variable so it will be reverse number equal to reverse number multiplied by 10 plus reminder now this reverse number variable after coming out of this while loop will contain the number in reverse order so this is the actual number that we get in a variable so if you want to perform any other operations then we can perform on this one now here after this while loop if i print out the value of this reverse number variable then we get the value of this number variable in reverse order it will be the reverse number so i'm gonna print it out and uh, after that i'm gonna save this program and run it now you guys can see it says reverse number is three to one now the difference between this run and the previous run is that in the previous run we were just displaying each digits of the number after separating them but here we have calculated that a number 321 and we are displaying that to the screen and we have stored this number in a variable and if you want to use it for any other calculations then we can use it now let's see how this program will work now the number that we have in this number variable is one two three and then we have the rev number variable and we have initialized this one with a value of zero and then we have the reminder variable okay now the first thing happens is this while loop will be executed so the while loop condition is checked whether number variable is containing a value greater than zero number variable is containing 123 which is greater than zero so we execute the body of this while loop so first we get the reminder value by performing number modulus 10 so which will be 123 divided by 10 so it will be 12 120 and the reminder value is 3 that 3 will be stored in this reminder variable in this uh, statement and after that we have this statement where we are getting the quotient value and for that we are performing number divided by 10 number is containing 123 divided by 10 the quotient value is 12 so that 12 will be present in this number variable after this statement so now the number variable will contain 12 and after that we are calculating the reverse number and we have the formula reverse number equal to reverse number multiplied by 10 plus reminder so reverse number is containing 0 multiplied by 10 plus 3 so it will be 3 now the reverse number will contain 3 and after that this while loop condition will be checked again so right now the number variable is containing 12 and this 12 is greater than 0 so this condition will satisfy so we execute the body of this while loop again so we calculate the reminder value by performing 12 divided by 10 so it will be 2 as the reminder value and that 2 will be stored in this reminder variable and after that 
here with this statement we are getting the quotient value and we are storing that in the number variable so number variable is containing 12 now and here the quotient value is 1 and that will be stored in this number variable here and after that here we are calculating the reverse number again so it will be reverse number multiplied by 10 reverse number it containing 3 so 3 multiplied by 10 plus the reminder which is 2 so it will be 32 so now the reverse number will contain 32 now if you look at this here then you can start to see the reverse uh, number appearing in the reverse number variable and after that while loop condition will be checked again so number variable is containing the value 1 1 is greater than 0 true so we execute the body of this while loop again so remainder value will be calculated which will be 1 divided by 10 and this time the remainder is 1 and that will be stored in this reminder variable and after that we are getting the quotient value and we are storing that in the number variable so the quotient here is 0 when we divide 1 by 10 and the number variable will now get 0 and after that we are calculating the reverse number here so it will be reverse number which is 32 multiplied by 10 plus 1 so it will be 321 and that will be stored in the reverse number variable and after that again this while loop condition will be checked number variable containing a value greater than 0 number is containing 0 so 0 is equal to 0 0 is not greater than 0 so this condition will fail while loop condition and we come out of this while loop and this console.write line will print out reverse number is and then the value present in this reverse number variable which is 321 so this is how this program will work now i want you to make a modification and that is you need to take the input from the user here you know you just need to ask the user to enter the number and then the program from here will be same so make that modification and post your code in the comment section so this is it guys thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.